We want to connect people to the place, to the desert, to the night sky, connecting people with the community. You walk in, you see kids, people of all ages, reading books. You see people doing yoga in the community room. It connects at all levels. first walked in it was just like oh my god really is this Borrego you know if you think about where we are it's like such a rural area so having the new library has sort of created a connection with people and the environment especially people just come together here it's like a place where they bond a sense of place for us is providing the feeling that you're actually at a location that matters especially when you're in such a vast open space as the design developed, it sort of came together as this large, thin building that was sort of stretched out under this wide roof that provided shade. Our desert is part of who we are. It's part of our community. And so to take that in consideration with the design, being able to see our desert while we are together is a big deal to a lot of people. This large view at the east end of the library has a very magnetic aspect to it. And then as people come into the library, they see it and they actually pull them through into the library. The whole Borrego Valley is in a flood zone. It's an alluvial fan. The best way to design for this is to lift the whole building up on piles and let the water flow through the site. And it was actually a very big topic of discussion of being able to allow the building to float on this desert floor. Reading is it. It's, it's the most important thing I think a child could learn. If you can read, then you can do anything because everything is found in a book. I think that our library is going to become the spot where we do life together. We constantly are out wanting to live life together, and that's what this library is going to bring to our community. There's not even a stoplight in the town. Borrego Springs is unique. It's a one-of-a-kind place in the entire world that is surrounded by mountains. You have no nearby communities or developments with light pollution. It's just pure, raw, natural sky. For the master plan, this idea of having this long walk of the cosmos. So it sort of served as a spine, with the library being the beginning, if you will, out to the dog park, which is where Pluto is located. But at the end of the day, it's about the community, and what was really special is seeing the people actually use it. I, I think. That's what's rewarding at the end of it. I cried. For me, I cried. So it was, it was really emotional because I think people are really excited. We've probably made like 100 new library cards since we've opened, so it's great.